Now, shooting has always been a sport India has reveled in, another discipline that has had a rich tradition in the country. There was a phase where all hopes would be pinned on these men. Rajewardhan Singh Rathor, Gagan Naran, Jaspal Rana, Manavjit Singh Sandhu, Vijay Kumar, Ranjan Sodhi, Abhinav Bindra, they were part of a glorious phase of Indian shooting. There were a few women too who came to the fore. Soma Datta led the charge, followed by Anjali Bhagwat, Hina Siddhu, Tejaswini Savant, Rahi Sarnabat. How could we forget her? All these are incredible sports persons. But take a moment to register what Sifth Kaur Samra has achieved. Firstly, she's all of just 22 years old, part of a new India that has teenagers, not just making up the numbers, but dominating the world when it comes to their discipline. A girl who studied to become a doctor decided to quit that and take up shooting instead. Now she won gold at 50 meter rifle three position event. You have to shoot a target that is 50 meters away. It's quite a distance. And she has to do this over a stipulated amount of time. And in three positions, kneeling, prone, which is lying down and standing, each shooter will fire 40 shots each in these three positions within a time frame. Now, it used to be 20 shots each for the women earlier till 2018 when they changed the rule to equal the number for both men and women. That's 40. It's not easy. No wonder it is termed as the marathon in shooting. Something that takes a lot of effort and double the concentration. And what did she achieve? She's the only woman from India to have won gold in the Asian Games in this event. Individual gold. She's only the second woman from India to have won an individual shooting gold. The first, Rahi Saranabhat, just in the previous edition. And it doesn't stop here. She set a new world record with her performance. What she did shoot scored 469.6 points, a new world record by 2.6 points. Now, that's a huge margin in a sport that deals in decimals. She beat China's Hyung Yu Zhang, score score of 462.3, a good 7.3 points ahead. Again, a massive margin who, by the way, is the reigning world champion herself, the Chinese. Prior to this, in qualification, Sifth Kaur had set a new Asian Games record with an impressive score of 594 out of 600. So I thought we should speak to this champion. Joining me on my cup today is Sifth Kaur Samra from Hangzhou, who's gotten into the habit of calling me ma'am as much as I hate it. Thank you so much for speaking to First Sport Samra. Thank you so much. Like... All right. So... So many youngsters and teenagers coming through for India Sift at an age that's meant to chill and have some fun. And you're winning medals. Have you thought of that? But I think this shooting is a part of our life right now. This is our fun. And there are more young athletes than me also. So I'm thinking, I, sh I was thinking that I started at very late. I should more start early. Why I started late, they're so young and they're doing so well. So I'm not thinking about that. It's 22. I'm thinking it's 22. I should start more early. Well, you're being a little too harsh, but we want to ask you how come shooting of all sports? Uh, actually, like I was not into any sports or something. So there was a Karan Sekho. It's a, he's a shotgun shooter. So he introduced me to the shooting. So my, he told my dad he should start shooting and he went for the World University Games and went to more international events. So I watched him on the TV. Then in this year, I was like, he, the same time I went to World University Games and I was in that opening ceremony. I was, yeah, I won this. I won that blazer with me. So for that, I think I started shooting. Well, it's not just the desire that got you here. There are a lot of skill sets that you require while shooting. Can you please take us through that? I think, uh, as we all know, that shooting is a really sports of focus and the patience. So, for that, I don't do anything special. I just stay happy and don't think about the like 24 hours just for shooting, shooting, shooting. When I enter the range, then I think about the shooting. I do all my processes that my coaches taught me or the things that my coaches, I discuss with my coaches that they always say that we should not be doing something panic things. Just be calm and be just normal that it leads to. And I think that's only helping when staying happy and cheerful is my thing. So, yeah. so, so has shooting made you calm or you shoot because you're calm by nature? What is it? No, it's, I think first one I would say it's better because uh, from the 
day one, if I'm in the range, then I'm totally a different person. When I'm just shooting, when I'm out of my lane, then I'm totally a different person. Like, okay, this is my chill mode now. And when it's in the range time, then okay, then focus on my shots. I have to focus on my process. So it's both are the different thing. Now they call the 50 meter rifle three position as the toughest. It's the marathon when it comes to shooting. Why so? Yeah, it's a bit. You can say different and difficult at the same time because you have to switch to the three positions in, and we have to finish our match in one hour and 30 minutes, mm. including our sighters and including all the things. So for the training also, we train like that, doing three positions in a single day. It's really hectic. But at the same time, we only choose this. And I think the difficult, more difficult things are more easily we enjoy that when we get into that achievement or success so i think this is wonderful when i just came back and i got to know that okay uh, all i'm saying there is the most difficult and fifth one a goal so i think it's the best thing i ever heard and i'm feeling it so yeah we'll get through that moment uh, in a bit but uh, speaking about the sport itself uh, uh Sifti, you're talking about how difficult it is but we want to know what goes through your mind there. There's obviously so much of focus required, but what are you thinking at that point uh, when you are shooting? Because you talk about how you have two different personalities when you're off the ranges. Right there, during that pressure situation, what's going through your mind? So basically, if it's kneeling and it's the first position we start with our match, so at that time, I am a bit nervous because it's always thinking that maybe this should go well, this should not be going bad or something like that. So after when kneeling, I don't think a lot. I just uh, repeat my process. I just uh, repeat in my mind, like in the school times we used to do A, B, C. So I do it like that way. So I repeat again and again in every single shot. And I think our coaches told us that single shot, we had a match. We don't need to think that, okay, this is a uh, first shot or this is a like last shot you have to play a single shot but this is only one shot i have and i have to play it go well and i have to just mark it good so for me i think i don't think anything different i just focus on my process or thing all right uh we want to ask you about the event itself that you won when did you know that you had sort of made a new world record it was like when i uh like I just packed all the things. I went for medal ceremony. After the medal ceremony, when I went to the media, the media told me that it's a world record. So I was like, okay, I was not doing that. <laughs> but uh, take us through that uh, feeling of that moment when you were on that podium, listening to the national anthem. What did you feel like? Take us through that moment, please. That feeling we can't express. You can just feel it. And the most wonderful uh, like feeling I had when I just turned back after my last shot, our foreign coach, he was literally crying. And from the another country, a person is crying for India. Like it was speechless for me. And I was like, that he's crying and he's a shooter from Austria. So he just said that it was a wonderful match. And I was like, this was a thing I wanted that. And I heard a lot of my physios, they all were like, he, we just tried because it was a India's first uh, gold medal in 50 meter as well from the past few years or I think uh, in 50 meter was the first gold ever. So I think that thing was so speechless for me and I was not knowing what I should say. I, just, I was just smiling and I was just having enjoying that moment and listening to the national anthem that too in other country. I think the goosebumps, I can't express it. Yeah, it was a great uh, moment and very emotional for all of us as well to know uh, that you achieved this sift. But uh, I have to ask you, uh, from doctor to shooter, that's quite a transition. So when I cleared the need and I was thinking that I will quit shooting because I was in uh, like 18, 19 position in seniors and I was junior. So my junior was also going to end. So I was like, me and my family was like, Ki seniors have... So let's just go for a doctor thing and uh, it's a secure career, we all know that. But I think the nationals I played after my NEET exam when I was knowing that okay now I got the seat so it's fine. And I think that nationals I played so calmly and that was a junior record I broke up 
and in senior i was first and suddenly in the ranking i got in the first from like nowhere in the seniors so that changed suddenly changed my life i hmm. uh, from there i was continuous in the team and in the senior team that was a big thing so i got admission in mbbs i went to college but my attendance was not that 80% so college said ki you can't give the exam you have to be the 80% attendance but it was not possible at the same time because i have to train also and i have to go for the international competitions also so that's why final decision we took that we can quit it and we can do shooting <laughs> right but i have to speak about the ask you about the future paris olympics is that on your mind like uh, i'm telling this to all the news channels and something ki i already won a olympics quota so in world championship but thinking about the paris 2024 it's in next year so we have a time so i think i will be focusing on a matches that we are having in this year because in this year we are having a world championship and then we are having national games national championship so i think this year we if i focus on well then it might be that i will be the one going for the paris 2024 yeah. and if i will be thinking from now of the paris 24 then i think it might change so better it's like the things we are i am having in my hand i should focus on that rather than things i don't have in my hand yeah fair enough uh, that, that that's fair but just to wrap this interview up sif i have to ask you you know who are your role models who inspires you really like this i don't have any role models i like a uh, few stories of athletes like uh, first is milka singh like we had seen that how what a struggle he did and i wish i could ever meet him but i never met him and it can't was him and second i think pv sindhu because she is the one having two olympic medal yeah. bronze silver and hopefully in 2024 she will get gold yeah. so i think that's the great thing and more like i uh inspiration i think it's my dad because leaving his things that his work for me and taking to me the all the matches so i think he did a lot for me all right so we really really wish you all the very best you've really given us a lot of joy here so take care and thank you so much for speaking to us thank you bye